How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the latest edition of Western Wednesdays. And today's film I'm going to be watching is Ride the High Country. So I believe this is uh, Sam Peckinpah directed film and has Randolph Scott who I've seen in a couple of westerns. Um, Seven Men From Now. Um, oh, there's a couple of other ones. That one in particular I really enjoyed but there's a couple of other ones that, he's, that I've watched on the channel with him. Um, but I've heard really good things about this one. Um, I think Joel McCree is in it as well. Uh, I watched a western with him recently too. Um, but I think he's doing quite a few westerns, but um, I think it's something about like they're, they're moving gold or something across terrains or something, or some kind of journey, something like that. Uh, but guys, as always, there will be a full uncut reaction to this film on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description, you can check that out. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel further, that'd be brilliant. And as always, the big shout out to my patrons, uh, to Ravi, to JM63, to Mary, to Blaze, to Jared, to Jenny, to Hall, and to Gigi Gooding. Thank you so much for the support, always really appreciate it. But anyway, with that said guys, let's watch Ride the High Country. Do you think they were like applauding him? So if you want this dollar, well you just come right on over here and get it, sonny boy. See the guy from um Sports your Local Sheriff? He looks like him anyway. Right up and try your luck. Everybody welcome. See the Oregon kid in person. Right. Try your luck. All you gotta do is Oh, that's um and you win the Randolph way. Scott. Quit the sermon. And the scars. One dollar on the yellow. Shooting against you is like sneaking licorice whips from a baby girl. Wonder if it's fixed or something. You're a plunger, sir. Well, sir, you see, I ain't so altogether sure I could hit a moving target without buckshot. I wasn't too far away or, or, or flying too fast. The damn plates, I just don't see how you manage. Well, I'll be damned. How are you, Gil? No great complaints. How long has it been? Morning, I'd hate to say. Quite some time. And to recollect them fellas. Flagstaff, Monterey, Hondo. I remember we worked them places. Yeah. Must be something important to bring you here. Looks to me like you've been riding a long time, but not getting very far. Transporting gold from the mining camp up there to the bank down here. Gold bullion. Two quarter of a million. And I could use some help. Jeez. Can you recommend anyone? I'll give it some thought. You do that, will you? I wouldn't be flapping about how much how much you're tra you're, you're you're transferring, even if he is a friend. Drink champagne, kid, and only the best. About two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth. He's gonna try and get in on that. Maybe try and steal it. You tell him it's Mr. Judd, Stephen Judd. Oh. Mr. Judd, we're more than familiar with your reputation. Thank you. But that was made many years ago, and we're dealing in the present, not the past. The question is... The question is, can I do it? I can't answer that by talking about it, only by doing it. If you two want to talk about it, you go ahead. Our contract's all right. How about me? Any doubts? If not, I'll sign it. I guess all right. It looks a lot different. The last film I watched from him must have been a good few years ago. The old man is Steve Judd. He don't look like much to me. I was star for six years with that old man. I was his deputy most of the time. Once he was mine. It's your habit. If somebody else wants to know you, my partner, Heck Long Tree. You'd blush to hear the way he admires you. Been considering your problem. Think maybe I can solve half of it. Perhaps the whole thing. It seems to me a man would have to be pretty hard up to want to risk his life for ten dollars a day. I don't think I'd want to hire a boy. Boy, what do you mean, a boy? Steve, this boy's a good deal less than green. Been dogging after me for about under three years. Are you calling me a cheat? Well, if he don't, I will. I will. I mean, it's still tested if you can beat up this guy. Or these guys. I think he's wonderful. He'll do. He'll do just fine. Joshua Newton's the name. Uh, this is uh, Gil Westrom and Heck Longtree. My name is Judd. Night. 
Well, I've got no room in the house. But I have no objection if you want to spend the night in the barn. Thank you, sir. My daughter, Elsa. Wise. Go start supper and change that dress. Change it? What for? For the good reason I told you to. I, I think it's a real pretty dress. That's what changing into Thank it a minute ago. His father will be pleased to hear this guy. He's making little comments about his daughter. There's a lot of truth in those words, Hank. Yeah? Questionary desires. You're on your way to coarse gold, ain't you? Yes. Well, them that travel there do so for one reason only, to traffic yeah. in gold and fear. Maybe tell him what your mission Desire is. Um, to live in sorrow. But Marshall. we're not trafficking, sir. There you go. Merely transporting. Well, I don't think you're not anticipating the, the plans Robert of the other two. They are out to steal the land it. Of that mining town is a sinkhole of depravity. A place of shame and sin. You cook a lovely ham hock, Miss Newton. Just lovely. Appetite, chapter one. <laughs> Must be pretty lonely living up here. Sometimes I get to thinking there's nobody left in the world but my father and me. You surprised she is how she is, didn't you? You would think with his influence and just being around him mainly that she would kind of just fall under his misbeliefs and his wants of how you he wants her to be. Like you being stuck up on this old stump ranch. He won't even take me to town when he goes after supplies. Says the men would stare at me. Suppose on the way back I was to pick you up and take you to San Francisco. Who are you talking to in there? To myself. You better go. I'll meet you outside later. I can't. I'll wait for you by the corral. That boy you trained personally shows a substantial lack of judgment. Kind of showing your age, aren't you? Interfering with a young man's love life? Know who she reminds me of, Steve? No. Sarah Truesdale. Well, that's the way she smiles. Has the same look in her eyes when you're talking to her. So a lady that they both knew of their past. The lousy money we made. What woman wants to sit around waiting for her husband to be brought home with his head shot off? Evening. You surely took your time. I shouldn't be here at all. The thing is, I'm what you might call engaged. Sure you are. What a fixed marriage. Really he asked me to marry him. She wish she was gone. She'd never met anyone. I said, him in coarse gold. He's a miner up at the strike and doing real well. Mm, he could clash with him. Well, if he's in coarse gold, you're here. I don't see any harm in talking. Ooh. And you... Go to the house. I don't like this guy. He's even punk shit. Out deep pit. Him that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Chapter. Oh. I'm your father. I've got to keep the dirt away. Protect you from the wrong kind of men. Daddy, every single man is the wrong kind of man. Except you. <laughs> Said he'd hit her. And this is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Shed blood or judge, I will give. Okay. At the end of him. The only mounted saddle. Magnificent wardrobe. I'm envious. What more could a man expect? What more? Again, he's kind of peppering away, saying, like, look what you've got. Look what you've made of your life. Guilt him into letting him. Waste of take. breath. Yeah. He's so insincere. It's, I wonder if he read through it, though. You mind if I keep you company on the trip? I don't mind. I do. I'll second that. My advice to you, honey, is turn the horse around and ride back. What? She's right, Heck. Our business is transporting gold, not girls. Thanks for paying back our hospitality. I couldn't sleep tonight with the thought of Elsa out here all by herself. I was wondering like, what was going to happen with her, because it just seemed like... that. Like, they'd left, it's like, are we done now with her character? It was kind of pointless, kind of meeting her. Shit, that escalated fast. He's gonna beat the crap out of me. My oh my. George teach the young punk a lesson. <laughs> that old man? That old man 
is about half rough. You learned a lesson, didn't you? I hope Mr. Judd didn't hurt you too bad. She didn't want him to do it. I like you, Heck. Save the sugar talk for your billy boy, because I don't need it. Plenty of them. I changed my mind. You got just what you deserve. Yeah, he does. When we get located, pass the word around that we're in camp, ready for business. I do. I'm looking for Billy Hammond. You found him! Billy! There's gonna be a clash here between these two. I can't believe it, honey! I brought my mother's wedding dress. If you still want to. Just who is Mr. Longtree? I rode up with him from the farm. Mr. Longtree was a perfect gentleman. How come? Something wrong with him? <laughs> well, <laughs> now I don't think. <laughs> you come back and see us real soon now, you hear, Mr. Longtree? <laughs> so, honey, this is Jimmy. He's sort of the baby of the family. And that there Silvis, he's been doing our cooking, as you. I don't know, they seem a bit off, to be honest. Fine, Billy Hammond? Yeah. What's he like? What, what difference does it make? She wanted him. Now, thank you, Silvers. Now haul it. I ain't going. <laughs> you just did. But the place is filthy. It'll wait. It'll wait. Let go, Billy. Billy, let me go. Written your decision. You're better off being with your father. She looks very uncomfortable. Pleased to make your acquaintance, my dear. And that there's Kate. She's your bridesmaid. No. And Candy. We're your flower girls, honey. You're beautiful girls, just beautiful. Aren't they beautiful, Elsa? Jeez. What's your name again? <laughs> Elsa Knudsen. Do you, Elsa? Jeez. I must take it. I do. Oh, uh, you any longer of a refraining from answering that. <laughs> Jesus, creepy as hell. Now are you standing here tormenting yourself, son? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. He looks like Paulo Ferreira, former Portuguese footballer. Honey. Oh. Now, you straighten out, you hear me? She did. She did? Oh, she did. You stay here. You're going with my wife. She's staying with us tonight, and I'm taking her back to her father in the morning. Like hell, she will. Take her back to her father. Steve, we've got our hands full already. I don't like it any better than you do. We're willing to abide by the court's decision if you are. Billy's very sorry about last night. Swears nothing like it'll ever happen again, I believe him. Well, I wouldn't believe Billy Boy if he I don't want to go him. back to him. He's not going with him. She stays with us. She stays here. We're packing gold, not petticoats. If she stays, I stay. You're debt warrant, man. Well, let's hope the court lets her go with us. I'll leave that, but the court may want proof in the form of a license. You got one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tear it up. 
Now, Judge, when you testify before that minor's court, I'm going to ask you one question. Is us a license to marry people in California? And you're going to answer no. See, Listen uh, to me, you fat gutted soak. You're going to do as you're told, understand? Pretty straightforward way of getting around this. Oh, it's over. can get it nullified. Will that satisfy your ironbound code of ethics? Would it surprise you to know that I was once a lawbreaker? Well, bless my stuff. He's like, yes, this could be the opening. Ran around with a hole in the wall bunch. Gun happy, looking for trouble or pretty ankle. There'd been a fight and I was drunk, sicker than a fat dog. Well, sir, he dried me out in jail and then seated to kick the bitter hell right out of me. <laughs> That took some Learn the lesson. Now, he was right, I was wrong. That makes the difference. Who says so? Nobody. That's something you just know. All I want is to enter my house justified. Started out thinking he was an old mossback. But I changed my mind. Kinda hate to turn against him. Are you with me or not? What happened to Elsa? He'll deliver to her father. The thing for you to remember is that we made a deal. This is interesting. I thought he was kind of coming through to, to the Jill Gibb. I kept telling myself you were a good man. You were my friend. This is bank money, not yours. And what they don't know won't hurt them. Not them, only me. Holy shit. Draw, you damn tin horn. Irresistible force meeting the immovable object. That oh, was your second mistake tonight, and the last chance you'll ever get from me. I still think those brothers will play a part in some way. Look behind. You made pure fools out of us stealing that license from Tolliver. That says there's another one on file in Sacramento. That means she's still my wife. She stays with us. Looks to me like you people been having some trouble. I mean, she's legally married to them. I have your word you'll return your gun when this is over? Yes, sir, I reckon you do. I'll go along. You bet you'll go along. We're moving into the rocks. Steve, shut up. Move. Steam light gun. Showing your age, partner. Back in the old days, you'd have checked those rifles before we left camp. Has he undone um, uh, Gil's rope, though? Do you need another man there to help? Take him out and get his gun. Assuming that's so, I'll have your gun back. Mm. Holy shit. I'm sorry, Mr. Judd. I guess I was showing off. What happens when we get back to town? That's up to the sheriff. He's turning us in. You know that. So do I. And during the years we spend there, we're going to discuss the events of the past few minutes at great length. Cut me loose, Steve. Why? Because I don't sleep so good anymore.
Imagine if she My father says stole there's it. only right and wrong. Nothing in between. It isn't that simple, is it? No, and this no, story it hasn't shown it that it way. Should be. What about Gil? Will you testify for Mr. Westrom? No, I won't. Why? Because he was his friend. Because he was my friend. Yeah. How come he don't tie us up? What for? No place to go. Where's Gil? Gone. Why didn't you go with him? Because I didn't see any future in... Ah, the horse. And he's got a gun. He's still going to try and get the gold, though. We're back at the farmhouse. Her father. You wait here. I'll go down and take a look around. Mm, the still... old gent's taken quite a chance. I don't think so. Neither does he. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. How the hell did he not go there? That's strange. What? He goes to a grave every day, but always in the morning. Never in the afternoon. We're going to the ditch. Now! Still has an opportunity to redeem himself. I'm gonna try for the corral. Oh. Brenda Scott will become the hero. Oh my god, the horse! Is he dead? Holy shit. Oh, playing possum. Man. Not yet. Let's meet him head on. Halfway, just like always. My son of us, exactly. You two chicken got it to finish this thing out in the open! We'll catch them when they raise up. Ain't you got no sense of family honor? Really, it's a bit of respect in anyway. figure a thousand dollars a shot yeah oh, I don't want them to see this I'll go it alone Liberty. don't worry about anything I'll take care of it that's like in honor of him because in his that I always did I'll see you later God. Well, that's what he wants, but just see his harsh just walk away and leave him like that. Okay, that was Ride the High Country. And um, I kind of had a like a trajectory of a view on this film. Like the first half an hour, I wasn't really feeling it. I, I wasn't. I wasn't getting into the story. I, I, I just wasn't feeling uh, the situations, the the, the motivations. It just, it just wasn't really coming to me. The only thing that was kind of that initially kind of gripped me in was the idea of like trying to convince Judd for them to take the gold. Uh, but it wasn't until they left the farmhouse and. Um, you know, Elsa meets up with Billy, and the whole stuff with that brother, with the brothers, like that, just absolute, like just, just, just tough to watch in some ways. You know, it was just absolutely vile the whole situation. And I thought first that Billy was going to be this nice guy, and that, that was it Peck, like he was going to be the ult ultimate shithead. 
you know. Um, but it really started to escalate there, and, and, and then just from then on, I was absolutely gripped in the film. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. It just it took about 25 minutes or so to really get going, but but, but when it did, I loved it. I, and you know what? Like, there wasn't too much shootouts, you know. But as I said before, in westerns, you don't always need a lot of shootouts. Um, yeah, there was a few, mind you. Know, there was a few, but like, there wasn't a whole lot. Um, but I loved the dynamic as well between between Gil and and Judd and kind of the, 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 that reminiscing and Judd almost kind of like in a way it was almost like he was lamenting kind of maybe stuff that he'd missed out on in life, but but, but there was always this kind of moral compass, especially when he said when he was younger and he got the, the crap beat out of him and kind of he learned a lesson. So there was always that kind of for him to really be at ease and enjoy himself. Like as he said, he wanted to go back to a home that was justified, you know. Uh, so I really liked that, and Gil was kind of more, you know, just just, just take what you can get, kind of, you know. Um, so I love that whole dynamic, and I, and Beck, I thought Beck was just going to be this utter shithead the whole way through. I didn't at all think that he would kind of, you know, redeem himself in some ways, and um, you know, there was layers to it, and it was so funny when when Elsa said to to um, to Judd about um, uh, you know, the, uh, my father always taught me that you know it was good people and there was bad people and just like the story of this western was doing it was anything but that like Gil himself was a villain for a lot of the film as I said Randolph Scott playing a villain after seeing him in the other westerns it was really interesting to see that um, so yeah I thought it was actually really gripping and really from being very kind of uh, not finding much in this film it just threw me into it then um, you know the last hour or so I thought it was, it was brilliant stuff really really enjoyed it um, but guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on Ride the High Country. Uh, where does this rank among your favourite westerns? I know it's a really popular one. Um, where does it rank among your favourite Peckinpah um, films? I uh, would love to hear the thoughts. Uh, but until next time, guys, Slongfall.